is that for probably six months or something, Adrian and I have been plotting and scheming for this event. We got together and we wrote uh, a little song for you. It's in honor of you. And clearly I haven't learned it by heart because, you know, it's an ongoing process and stuff like that. But I've got all these wonderful people who stepped up <laughs> to help me. Uh, well, <laughs> and well, I think I've got everybody on board, basically, we've been talking behind your back, I'm sorry. <laughs> so everybody, this is a song, me and Adrian, or Adrian and I, in English. Adrian and I have written to honor our chieftain. And finally enough, this song is called The Chieftain. Yeah, it's very clever, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, I think you did. I think you did. <laughs>
each and every one of you. For 20 years soon, on this Saturday of the market, Shut up! people what? have been shouting speech. And as you know, like I say to every tourist that comes here, I am not a Viking anymore. I have what I need. I have no need to plunder. So the days of Viking age for me is sort of over. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm not a Norseman. That doesn't mean I'm not living among Vikings. And it doesn't mean that I'm not living among people who love Viking life. Because each and every one of us do, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the word I use most when I speak on a Saturday night during the market? No. Love. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Except the ones who think somebody shouldn't be welcome. Yeah. Exactly. And that is hatred. I think that's the mark of a Viking of this age. Love for each other. Like all the tourists come and they say, how do you Vikings greet each other? And I say, there is only one way, with a hug. <laughs> and I don't think I've met any tourist this year or the last 20 years who hasn't said, okay, let's give each other one. <laughs> it's one of the things that needs... <laughs> We who live in a tourist resort, we always feel like should we have a look at TripAdvisor today? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago we were a bit suspicious and we were a little bit tense because it wasn't all good because we were newborn. Neander Hammer was just born and we couldn't fulfill every request people had. So some people went away a little bit disappointed. Today, a few weeks ago, we got this remark from TripAdvisor that for the last 50 that had put in something, we got full score. Which means we know how to love our visitors in a visible way. We know how to show them that we care about them, but that what we teach them comes from our hearts. And we we'll want them to leave us wanting to come back. Thank you, Angela. And we know that every person who comes here feels that they leave a little bit of their heart when they leave. Yeah. Isn't that true for you as well? Yeah. 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 Ever since I stepped on this area 24 years ago, and all those days and weeks and months 
When Roger and I have been walking down here on these empty fields, we have said to each other, can you feel it? And we both felt that this soil, all these rocks under our feet, spoke out to us, this is where you live, this is where you, this is your home. The spirit of the land on this area in Njadarheimer really loves people. <clears throat> the Vikings were very aware of the spirits of the land. When Egil Skallagrimsson put his staff on the beach outside Erik Blodax's castle to curse him and his family, the people were aware the crops got worse, the fishing failed, the hunting failed, and they had to tell the king, please, can you leave us? And he left and he went to England and he never came back because the spirit of the land is so important. Unfortunately, the world has forgotten about it, so we waste the land. But to us, this land of Njardahammer, of Kutvangen, and wherever we go, is very important to us. So we have stopped bringing our dragon heads. When we travel, we travel in peace these days. When we travel, we seek union with the people we meet. And when we meet our friends, summer after summer after summer, the first thing is to run around the camps, giving each other hugs, saying, so happy to see you again. And when we leave, even though many of us don't show it, we have tears in our hearts because we don't want to leave our friends. Fortunately, we have social media now, so we can talk again the next day. And we can say, I miss you, I love meeting you, and I'm so looking forward to next year when we'll be meet again. Take care of each other. This is our family. Thank you.